All right. Hey, awesome. How are you guys? We'll see how long this lasts. But yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's great to see you guys. Congratulations hey, and welcome you. to the world, Thank Noah you. and Levi. Gracias. Yeah. Say hi, everyone. Yeah. Right, so who's who's who, guys? I have Levi, and that's Noah. Yeah. I love the names. My son is actually is Levi as well. So, guys, I want to thank you so much um, for joining us in the past year and sharing your journey, the the highlights, the key milestones that you went through, and doing so really as the, from the perspective of a dad. Um, which was great, especially Dr. Score. You're the you run LGBTQ and third party reproduction services at Fertility Specialists of Texas, which is one of our founding family building partners at GWK Academy. So this has been really a great experience for me. Um, so first off, I just want to say thank you. And you know, last time we talked, I remember saying, "Would you come uh, back one more time when we get to meet the kids?" So this is you know, it's all about right. Yeah, here they are. Glad they're healthy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Growing very quickly. Yeah. yeah. All right. So today, are they they're three months old right now? Yeah, a little over three months. Yep. Um, so I just got a few questions for you, um, obviously. So first off, so what has been what has it been like for the past three months as dads <clears throat> to newborns and newborn twins? It's What's adjustment. your life been like? Adjustment and flexibility are the words, really, you know, about being a new uh, newborn dad, you know, working, figuring out work schedules, talking to each other is a huge, huge life change where, you know, we used to go generally on trips like once a month and that's not happening, you know, so it's, it, it's a wonderful life change, but it is a big, big switch in your life. It is indeed. It is now um were you either i think ray you had paternity leave is that what i recall yeah. yes a couple of weeks and uh days here and there i had to go and check in on uh, uh, work but yes i will have i had the chance to be more time here with the kids okay. when they were born I right. um so i i'm curious what advice you received before the, the boys were born um, that you found to be especially useful or helpful? I think, especially for twins, it was at the beginning, getting them on a schedule together and forcing, <laughs> forcing them onto a schedule together. Yes. Like yes. if one of them woke up in the middle of the night, you fed the other one at the same time. And it, that really allowed us to at least have one at the beginning, two or three hours where we could sleep a little bit, you know? Um, I think that was really important advice. What else? They are on their own schedule. We can read so many books and we can take so many advices, but at the end, each child is different and you adapt to them. So as we adapt each other, the four of us, it is a journey every single day. And for me, in your prior question, one of the most you know, rewarding thing, I think is like dreams come true. Yeah. It is the most amazing three months and a half that experience with them and, and our families and our in-laws and my parents, like everyone, it just, it just, it's, it's, it's a pretty come true. Yeah. So I'm curious, speaking of that, so Dr. Scori, you've, you know, countless babies that you've helped bring into the world, but what was it like seeing your babies being born? And for both of you, what was it like holding them for the first time. And well, that? I originally, the original plan was for me to deliver the babies with a oh, right. friend who was our OB. Um, and unfortunately, uh, Levi, who was the first one out, his head was kind of turned in a way that he just wouldn't come out. So he ended up, we ended up having a C-section. I did not want to do a C-section, I'm serious. <laughs> so my friend who was our, who's our OB was amazing. Um, she uh, did the C-section with a resident at Baylor downtown in Dallas. and. They came out and it was it was incredible. I think, you know, with the delivery, with the bris even, I'm much more like all business and Ray was much more emotion because I'm like, I know what's going on. I want to make sure it's happening correctly. But, you know, but uh, it was it was a beautiful, beautiful moment for us to hold both the babies at the same time after they were born. Yeah, it was everything as well orchestrated. It's an, an orchestra there. It's just like a lot of people looking at 
um, at us, at the kids, our, our surrogate, and it just like playing music in the background. Our, our play, so it, it was like a magical moment for sure. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, and speaking of your surrogate, she, was, she wasn't just your surrogate, but she was a friend of yours, a good friend. How is she doing? How, how was she for the birth and how she recovered? She is amazing in every definition of that word. She looked like looked back to normal within a month. Wow. <laughs> she was walking around. She pumped breast milk for the babies for about uh, six wow. weeks and did an amazing job with that. And, you know, she's just been great throughout the whole process, like just really loving in a great way, but not, you know, not in an overbearing way. And it was right. just, you know, everything you would hope for in that kind of a situation, because it can go sideways. I've seen it. I've had intended fathers who've used friends as surrogates and it can go completely sideways. So I am so grateful that it went so well for everyone. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me guys, what would you say has most surprised you about being dads or about life as a father? <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will think the connection between Dana and myself. I think that it is stronger, and there's a lot of communication. A lot of uh, you know, there's ideas, there's background, there's things that your parents tell you that what what should happen or what happened in the past with me with my siblings with my nieces and nephews and then you try to accommodate and you try to balance everything out so i think that the whole part of communication as a couple was um very wonderful like it, it is still going on don't think it, nothing is perfect but it is like we're working on it day by day um seeing them feeling at three o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning and when you're like at that moment, like, please go to sleep. I already changed your diaper. I already <laughs> feed you. I already rock you. What, what is going on? And sometimes they just want to feel the warmth of your body and they want to be attached to you for a little more. Yeah. And then you go with business. So it's just like adapting to their schedule because I think this is an affection for the four of us. It's not just yeah. uh, them to us, it's also us to them to ensuring that we have this. Um, family, um, we'll say organization, but family organic flow. Yeah, you know, I think one of the things that I love about my relationship with my husband actually is that we're really good at communicating with each other. I think it's super important in a relationship in general. Right. And that has really serviced us after the babies are born as well. Like we don't hold things in, we talk to each other, we work it out. And I think that is super important. You're having a huge life change like this, like having babies is to keep the communication open. Don't hold grudges, move forward. Always have your eye on the prize kind of, of this is a family growing together and we can do this. We just have to talk to each other and figure it out. That, you know, I have to tell you what is so great is that I often hear that from couples is that their love deepens for each other when they see the when they see the you know them as fathers. So. No, it is very. I love I love seeing my husband being super sweet with the babies, and it's very very sweet. I really that is uh, something that uh, I enjoy. Like I saw that with his nieces and nephews before, yeah. but it's very different, obviously, with these little kiddos. Oh, that's great. Um, so, as I'm speaking as dads now. I'm curious, what would you want to say to those out there watching who are thinking about becoming dads? Obviously, it's possible, right? <laughs> it happens. <laughs> and, you know, if you take the leap, it will happen. There are so many amazing people around the country who are doing this work to help people become dads, you know, who never thought it could be possible. Like my husband never thought it would happen, right? And so, one of the joys of my life is helping people to make their families whole. You know, we were very, very lucky along the way. We really had really minimal <laughs> uh, road bumps, roadblocks right. along, along the way. And it was a very fast process for us, which I'm really grateful for. But, you know, the, the, the things that I really enjoy about this job are helping people get to this. And it's, it's totally possible. You just have to really trust the people that you're working with, that they have what's 
you know, best for you at heart and that are gonna, they're working for you. That's the most important thing you're looking for your team is finding people that you feel are on your side and right. have, have a lot of experience doing this stuff. Great, great, great. Ray, do you wanna to add to that? Uh, no, I'm, okay. I'm just like, <laughs> still <don't> <laughs> This is well said. But yeah, so Dr. Scroy, that comes me to the stuff that I want to show you now is how, we talked about this in the past, but it was always, you know, you'd only had gone so far along a journey. How has going through an entire surrogacy journey and now being dad for three months, how is this all affecting or impacting your role as an IVF doctor? I think I have have a lot more empathy for my patients, especially when they have roadblocks along the way, because it's just, you know, and also I think I've, I'm more in tune with the interpersonal relationship between the couples that I'm talking to more often, because okay. that is, you know, a huge thing. IVF couples, not just gay, but also straight, you know, when they have failures, it's a really high risk of divorce and so forth. So I think I, it has really opened my eyes to kind of that aspect of it more than just the medicine of it. I think the interpersonal aspect has become much more forefront for me. That's great. Um, I, anything else? You, I, I, I so appreciate your time and I know what it's like having little ones. You know, so anything else you'd like to share or advise or? No, I think uh, I wanna thank you guys for, um, for your support throughout our journey for uh, checking on us and see how we were doing for documenting um, this very special time in our life that mark it forever. Wow. So it is important. We hear it, we know it, representation matters. Yes. We know that there is an army of us around all of you and we're here to support we're here to give advice we're here to cheer you on we're here to uh, be a shoulder as well so thank you so much really really uh, for, for this opportunity throughout the past year um we we really really um, um so appreciate, really appreciate it. it yes well, I do want to um, thank you, Ray. I really appreciate that. It's been truly an absolute pleasure. Um, and it's so, it was so exciting for us. You know, as soon as I heard Dr. Score was going to go through a service journey, I'm like, I know we need to have that happen. Um, you guys do know that we go on an annual spring break. We've done two. Last year, there was um, the youngest one was one, one year old exactly. So who knows? Maybe we'll be able to see you. We're planning our spring break for next year now. Oh, oh yes. We'll take a um, look and see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Twins, it's again, always a journey. So is, <laughs> we haven't right. done our first airplane trip with them yet. We're hoping to in the, in the next month if, when, if their passports come to visit. Wait for the passports. Yes. Though, but, um, we shall see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining, uh, for, you know, for sharing your story with us. And it's been, it's so awesome to see them. Um, they're here. Yeah. They're here. <laughs> Congratulations, and we wish you guys all the best. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Bye. <laughs>